It's always fun to see an international brand from another country try to break into the United States market. For example, recently a couple of coffee brands are attempting to establish themselves here in the United States. I remember a time when Starbucks attempted to establish themselves in Italy, and they did pretty poorly because Italian coffee culture is really strong, with numerous espresso shops on every corner. So it just had, didn't do well. However, recently there was a brand called Percentage Sign Arabica. Percentage Arabica, I guess, is what it's called. Apparently, it's a Kyoto-based、um, coffee company that got established here at the Grove, but they established only a very small stand, which is kind of interesting. I was hoping they would have done something a little more. But another brand from Vietnam is coming in, and I think it's called Trung Nguyen Legend Cafe, and I think they're planning to open themselves out in、uh, Westminster, which is a heavily Vietnamese enclave. So it's very. Interesting to see it, and I probably would go try it out. Which kind of reminds me, I have good expectations of this because it reminds me well for the time when I visited Vietnam. Coffee culture is really strong in Vietnam. I mean, it's the alternative place that you would hang out with your friends at night if you were going out and you were not planning to eat or go to a bar or drink, which is also quite popular. And There was coffee shops literally everywhere. Like I went to their downtown, their equivalent of downtown in、uh, Ho Chi Minh City, and there was like a gazillion coffee shop. There was a whole building that was dedicated to coffee. Almost it seems. It was a very interesting design building.、It、looks like something like a nine square tic tac toe box, and out colorfully lit. And out of those nine squares, I believe like majority of them were coffee shops, small coffee shops that you would go and hang out with your friend, get a seat. And you would enjoy a cup of coffee and chat with them throughout the night. Personally, I don't drink coffee after 12 p.m. because I would just not sleep. Well, anyway, if you like the story, please like and subscribe. Come back next week for a new one. And safe travels. Goodbye.